Well, uh, hi, everybody. Hey, uh, I've been listening to all of these uh, cockamamie ideas about how Woolly Mammoth got its name, but I have to tell you, I was actually there uh, when we came up with the name of the theater company. So I've, I've got to tell you, my most vivid memory of this was Roger Brady and I, Roger, the co-founder of the theater, um, working our way through a, a gallon of Carlo Rossi, you know, some really bad red wine. And we did this sort of thing occasionally to grease the wheels of our conversations about the theater. And we played a little game on this particular day. This had to be in the fall of 1978. We were just getting ready to uh, do a, a show uh, and we needed a name for our new company. And we played a game which was to just say every name we could think of and, and, um, and see what see what came up. And I actually have in front of me here the actual pieces of paper from over 40 years ago where we wrote down all of these names. Oh, some of them are fun. Here's Fortissimo, Pianissimo, Staccato. I guess we were on a mu little musical kick there. Oh, and there's a, there's a section of Greek gods and the names of uh, all the planets and uh, all these characters from Shakespeare. Oh my gosh, look, here is, look, he, and here, I'll show you on this other piece of paper. Here, actually, if you can see it, is Woolly Mammoth, but, uh, Funny enough, it's, uh, it's spelled W-O-O-L-E-Y, mammoth, misspelled, and I guess we had to, uh, I guess we had to research that in the days following. But there's all sorts of, uh, there's all sorts of fun names here. I really like the Hapless Theater Company. That would have been pretty accurate at the time. The Millennium Theater Company here. That was uh, a little bit ahead of our, ahead of ourselves there. Uh, anyway, but you know, it wasn't just about a name. We were also obsessed with the uh, mission of our theater. And I think this is the most important feature of Woolly is this obsession. We were imagining a kind of theater uh, there at the beginning that was going to be uniquely theatrical, uh, unlike the realism of film and television, a style of acting that was bold and expressive, unlike what we used to call the mumble and wheeze style of the sort of post-Marlon uh, Brando period in New York. We pictured a company of actors who would train together over many years to develop a new approach and techniques, and we believe, and, and this I think is the second most important thing to know about Woolly Mammoth, we also believe that it was possible to not only advance the art of theater, but also to build a new, more enlightened audience. Somehow we would succeed where no other th theater had succeeded in making the most provocative plays uh, popular. Um, I'm not sure we knew what that meant at the time. We figured it out over time. A lot of European avant-garde works in the beginning, but I think ultimately we've hit our stride with this meeting point between plays that were funny and tragic, uh, where you couldn't tell whether to laugh or to cry at a woolly play for many years, and I think that's still true of many of them today. I can't help but think uh, now of uh, a sort of coming-of-age period at Woolly, which included Christmas on Mars by uh, Harry Condolian, um, New York Mets by T.J. Edwards, a new play by a local writer, so it got us on the new play kick as well. Um, and then mo I, I, I'm thinking really recently about um, And Things That Go Bump in the Night by the great Terrence McNally, who of course died um, just recently a victim of the, of the virus. Um, Fat Men in Skirts by Nikki Silver, many other plays over the years that I think continue to carve out this uh, unusual line between the comic and the tragic, the provocative, and at the same time, hopefully, the uh, engaging. I think you've seen that in recent Woolly seasons as well, and you're going to see it when there's always the Hudson comes back. I just love this script, and I'm looking forward to that and everything that Woolly does when our uh, the work on our stage resumes. Thanks so much for your support. It's great to see you, and enjoy the progressive party.